All right, you guys, Ruthless is on its mid-season break, and every time this happens, I get a ton of comments. People are in shock, disbelief, and disappointed. There was this one subscriber. She was pissed. She stressed the fact that she's tired of all of these mid-season breaks, and why can't the show just play out like it did back in the day? And she's right. We never had these issues with Good Time, Sanford and Son, the Jeffersons. <laughs> Did we? But I told her that I understand. And just when the getting gets good, they want to take a break. So in the meantime, in the between time, I'll be breaking down the episode synopsis and giving my commentary and predictions based on the description of future episodes, you know, to keep us entertained until they return. So the highest thought that he had given Lacey her blessings and sent her on to the Raku. Oh yes, he thought that he'd kill two birds with one sword. But wait, is Lacey really dead? Has she really gone to that Raku compound in the sky? I I've read message after message after message after message that Lacey's not dead, that she's in episode number 18, and according to the episode description for 18, they may be right. The episode is conveniently titled No Mercy. Lacey is fed up and makes a rash decision causing irreparable results. Now we know that these results cannot be rectified or repaired, right? So whatever decision she made, it's a permanent one. And it would seem that the last episode, episode 11, when she got stabbed with Oliver, would have been irreparable, right? But apparently Lacey made it out somehow and she's made a rash decision. Now this is very interesting, you guys, because now we get to see the storyline play out about what she revealed in the punishment trailer when Ruth came in. It seems as if the compound is slowly racking up on its teams, right? We have the FBI agents and the good guys, Joan, Ruth, Andrew, Zane, versus the bad guys, the highest, Daikon, Manny, and Elder Mother Supreme. <laughs> And speaking of Elder Mother, now that Lacey is alive, the Highest may just grant Elder Mother her wish and place Lacey under her so that she can be sure that she's converted. And do y'all think that Lacey will regret being alive? Like, she may have survivor's remorse. She may go into some sort of depressed and lonely state because Oliver is gone. And I honestly think that she's going to be a bit dejected because we have to remember that she wanted Oliver to take her out by choking her, remember? Like, she didn't want to suffer any more punishment and she she dreaded the thought of what the highest was going to do to them. So she just told Oliver to end it all right there in the trailer, but of course he wasn't going to do that. Maybe this rash decision will have her trying to leave again. Can you imagine living in your van on the beach all by yourself, carefree, right? Then end up in a cult bound inside of a trailer on a compound full of mixed nuts, living days on end without food. Can you imagine what this is like? How did she end up on that compound? How? Like what drives you out of your independence? onto a compound headed by a drug and sex crazed lunatic. And now I'm even wondering if Ruth is going to have her way with her in the trailer. I tell you, Ruth better hope that Lacey retract that statement about her wanting to leave, right? And she better tread lightly because she's not even pregnant and she had plans to leave. Ruth better straighten up and she better fly right because she still has to go through this big test that the highest keeps talking about. Something that he's got planned just for her. So what do you guys think Lacey's rash decision is going to be? One that's going to cause irreparable results. Draw me your theories below. And before I end this video, let me give a warm Ruthless TV welcome to our new subscribers and followers, Allison Singleton, Chanterelle Nicole, and Rache, aka Riri the Best. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You know I'd appreciate it. And if you're a Ruthless fan, go ahead and sub to this channel because I do video breakdowns like this all the time. Thank you so much once again for tuning in, you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.